Lord. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Welcome to round 24 of the 2021 NRL Telstra Premiership. Hope you guys are doing well on this Tuesday night. It is currently 7.50 p.m. Uh, I just want to apologize, guys, for yesterday. There were no videos yesterday. Obviously, as I mentioned in the Sunday football review on Sunday night, um, I'm still getting over the bug. I've been sick for three or four days now. Um, starting to feel a little bit better today, but I'm still not 100% by any means. I'm probably about 70% if that. So apologies for no video yesterday. If, if, I, if I feel better during the week, which I'm hoping I do, then I'll do the corner post live during the week. But let's get into it, man. Round 24 of the NRL. Some big games this weekend, especially Thursday night. Knights and Titans. If Knights win, they're in the finals. If Gold Coast win, they're in the top eight until the Sharks game. And then Friday night, the big rivalry. Roosters versus Rabbitohs. Storm are looking to break the record against the Eels this weekend. Some very, very important games this weekend. But, um, excuse me. Let's get into it, lads. Round 24 of the NRL kicks off on Thursday night up there at Sunshine Coast Stadium. It is the Newcastle Knights up against the Gold Coast Titans. The Knights are a dollar eighty-five favourites. The Gold Coast are a dollar ninety-five. This game is Thursday night, seven fifty at Sunshine Coast Stadium. Now, very important game. Like I said, if Newcastle win, they play finals. If Gold Coast win. Newcastle are no certainties for the eight, but um, I think Newcastle will get there anyway. But we'll see how they go. Newcastle, no David Clemmer. Frizzell's back in the side. As for the Gold Coast, Ash Taylor is gone. Absolutely gone. So, Torrent Peach is a 5-8. We'll see how that goes about. But I reckon this is going to be a really close game on Thursday night. Very important for both sides. The Gold Coast have played some pretty good footy against Newcastle in, the, in their recent matches. But look, for this game, I'm going to go with Newcastle. I just think at the moment they're playing a little, little bit better than the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast have lost two in a row. They lost the, the Rabbitohs and the Storm. Their confidence might be a little bit shot there. Newcastle were very, uh, very um, ordinary last weekend against the Dogs, but they still found a way to get the job done. But for this game on Thursday night, I'm going to go Newcastle by 8. I'm, I'm going to go Newcastle 26 points to 18. And I'm going to go with Anoui Tawala to score two tries on Thursday night. Knights to win 26 points to 18. Let's move on to Friday night football. The first game being played at BB Prince Stadium, which is at, up at Mackay. It is the New Zealand Warriors up against the Canberra Raiders. This is Friday night at 6 o'clock, by the way. Raiders are $1.45. The Warriors at $2.75. Now, mathematically, the Warriors can still get into the top eight. But, gee, they need, they need a lot of results to go their way. As for the Raiders, well, they can still get there as well. But they need a few things to go their, go their way as well. Look, I think the Warriors, obviously, Chanel Harris-Devine is not playing. So, they bring... Sean O'Sullivan back into the halves. As for the Green Machine, they're pretty much unchanged from last week. I think Charles Nickel Clockstar should be at fullback, personally. But for this game, this is going to be a really tight game as one. Very hard to split. If you go back to early, earlier in the season, I think Cameron led, led New Zealand 31-10 or something. And the Warriors came back and won 34-31 or something like that. But for this one... I'm going to lean towards the Raiders only just. I think the Raiders are so desperate they need to win this game. I have absolutely no confidence in this in this game or this tip whatsoever. But I'm going to go the Raiders here. I'm going to go the Raiders by four. I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to go Canberra twenty four points to twenty on Friday night, and I'm going to go. I'm going to back Hudson Young to score a try at any time for the Raiders. Raiders to win by four points. On Friday night. Let's move on to the main game on Friday night. The blockbuster of the round. The game of the round. The biggest rivalry in the NRL. Friday night. 7.55 kickoff. Suncorp Stadium. It is the Sydney Roosters. Up against the South Sydney Rabbitohs. 
The Rabbitohs are $1.25 favourites here. The Roosters are at 4 bucks. The Roosters have got a few out. Adam Kieran, Copley, Butcher are out. Brad Abbey will go on to the wing for his Roosters debut. Lucky Lamb goes to the centres. Egan Butcher starts at, at back row. Um, they bring in Ben Thomas to the bench as well. As for the Bunnies, Mansour was out and Keon Kolomatangi is out. So Jaden Sewell will start for the Bunnies and it looks like uh, Jacob Hose comes back into the side for, um, for the for the Rabbitohs as well, along with Liam Knight in the reserves. But look, big game this one Friday night. Massive rivalry game. Cannot wait for it. Roosters at, Roosters at $4 is very juicy. I'm tempted to go with the Roosters. Souths have won the last two against the Chooks, but I am going to go the Rabbitohs here. Only just, I think it's, this is going to go down to the wire, this one on Friday night. I'm going to go the Rabbitohs by two points in this one. I'm going to go the Rabbitohs 22 points to 20. I think there'll be nothing in this. It could be a field goal shootout. Who knows? But I just think South at the moment are playing a little, little bit better than the Roosters, but there, there won't be anything in this. I'm going to go the Rabbitohs 22 points to 20. And I'm going to go Latrell Mitchell to score a try against his former side. Looking forward to that matchup. Teddy versus Latrell Friday night. Rabbitohs to win 22-20. And I reckon Latrell Mitchell will score a try for the Bunnies. Let's move on to Super Saturday. The first game is kicking off at 3pm. This game is being played up there at Rockhampton, which is at Brown Park. It is the St. George Illawarra Dragons up against my team, the North Queensland Cowboys. The Dragons are favourites here at $1.65. The Cowboys at $2.25. The Dragons haven't won a game since the barbecue. The Cowboys have, haven't won a game since since I bought Tom Din. So, this is literally a toss to coin. It seriously is. Now, the Cowboys last week against Parramatta, they were awful for the whole game and they showed some good signs late in the game. As for the Dragons, well, they came back from 14-0 down against the Roosters. They took the lead and then they just let it slip again. Now, the Dragons have made a couple of changes here. Matt Dufty's been dropped again. So, Tyrell Sloan goes to fullback. As for the Cowboys, a few changes here. So, Valentine Holmes will go to the centres. Murray Talangi and Kyle Felt return. They've also got Jason Tamalolo moving into the front row. Ruben Cotter goes to lock. And Griffin Neme plays his second game. I like the Cowboys' changes. I think they've done well. I'm going to tip the Cowboys here. This is the last time I'll, I'll tip them this year. If I don't win this, Manly will put 50 on them in the final round. But, looking forward to this game. Saturday afternoon, it'll be entertaining. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to go to the Cowboys. The Cowboys to win. I'm going to go to the Cows by... Cowboys by six. I'm going to go... I'm going to go 28 points to 22 in favour of the Cowboys. And I'm going to go with Valentine Holmes to score a try in the centres. Let's move on to the other game on Saturday night. This game is at 5.30pm. Up there at Suncorp Stadium. It's a home game for the Sharks. Sharks versus Broncos. Sharks are $1.50. Broncos are $2.60. 5.30 Saturday night at Suncorp Stadium. Now, the, these sides didn't... Uh, these sides played not that, not that long ago up at Suncorp Stadium. And the Broncos beat them by 8. So, that will be in the Sharks' mind. But this is so important for the Sharks. The Broncos, great win last week over the Warriors. They did well to win that game. Full credit to them. The Sharks, though... No um, Malatalo, so Hiroti goes on to the wing for the Sharks. Uh, Metcalf will start at 5-8 as well for Cronulla. Aiden Tolman's back to the bench. No one cares. Broncos, pretty much unchanged. I think this game will be a very dangerous game for the Sharks. The Broncos, at the moment, got nothing to play for but pride. and They're just causing mischief for the teams that are not playing finals. You know, They ruined the Warriors last week. Can they ruin the Sharks? We'll soon find out on Saturday night. But for mine, this game will be a really tight one. I'm going to go the Sharks. I think they have so much to play for here. There won't be much in this. I'm going to go the Sharks by 10. I'm going to go Cronulla, 26 points to 16. And I reckon Will Kennedy will score two tries for the Sharks. Sharks to win by 10. Will Kennedy double. But I'm not confident. The Broncos are dangerous at the moment. So... Sharks by 10 for mine. Let's move on to the other game on Saturday night. It's a double header at Suncorp Stadium. 
This game is at 7.35. It is the Melbourne Storm up against the Parramatta Eels. Melbourne, they're a dollar at five. Parramatta at nine bucks. Jesus Christ. Um, George Jennings is out for the Storm. So Dean Aramaira goes on to the wing. As for Parramatta though, Sebo is out. So Ferguson's back on the wing for the Eels. Everything else is practically the same for Parramatta. Melbourne were okay against the Gold Coast. They weren't at their best. Parramatta against North Queensland, though. They weren't great, but they got the job done. But look, for this one, I think Melbourne win, and I think Melbourne win this game really well. I can't see Parramatta scoring more than 12 points against Melbourne. I just think Melbourne, they want to break the record. They've named practically a full-strength side here. I think Kama Kamifa is the only one that's not playing. That's in there, you know, 1-17. to So, expect Melbourne to have a really big win on Saturday night. And I'm, I'm going to go to the Storm here. I'm going to go Melbourne by 46. I'm going to go Melbourne 50 points to 4. I can't see it being close. Sorry to you Parramatta fans out there. I'm going to go Melbourne 50 points to 4. And I'm going to go with Cameron Munster to score two tries on Saturday night. Let's move on to Sunday afternoon football. It's a double header at Redcliffe at um, Moroton. How do you say it? Moroton, Daly Stadium at Redcliffe. It's a double header. Both these games are going to be a bludger. Manly versus Bulldogs at 1.50 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. Manly are $1.05. Canterbury Bankstown at $13. Won't spend much time on this one. Manly, Turbo's back at fullback. Tabita Funa's out. Brad Parker is in the centres over Moses Suley. Are you serious? Dez, what are you doing, bro? Moses Suli is a weapon of mass destruction in that left centre position. Brad Parker is not even on Moses Suli's level. I can't believe this. This is ridiculous. As for the dogs, no Adam Elliott, no Luke Thompson, no Corey Waddell. Yeah, this is going to be a very, very one-sided game. Look, in this game, I'm going to go Manly. I'm going to go to the Seagulls here. I'm going to go Manly. 64 points to nil. This won't be close. I'm going to go Manly, 64 points to nil on Sunday afternoon. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go Ruben Garrick to score five tries. Garrick for five tries on Sunday afternoon. The final game of the round, 4 5 on Sunday at Redcliffe. It's Penrith versus West Tigers. Penrith, they're $1.05 as well. Tigers at $13. Jesus Christ. No way to do it for the Tigers as well. So they bring Jack Madden to 5 8. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. Penrith, not really any changes here. They're pretty much pretty much 1-7, eh? Brian Toto was back for the Panthers, though, so that's a big in. Charlie Stanz is in the reserves. Yeah, this won't be pretty. This won't be pretty, I'm telling you right now. This will be very, very one-sided. Tigers have won two of the last three against Penrith, but I don't care. Panthers win this, and they win it well. I'm going to go to the Panthers here. Let's go the Panthers... Panthers to win 50 points to nil. Panthers 50 nil on Sunday. And I'm going to go Brian Toto to score a double. Guys, that's it for my round 24 tips. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.